don't you hate it when you want to make something invisible and then this happens? Or when your rig is acting up and does something like this? I mean, the pupils are there, why can't I see them? Or why is this thing bright, even though it says the brightness is on zero? Yes, I can agree it's all very annoying, so today I'm gonna show you how to fix that. What we are trying to fix is not a glitch at all. You're basically a victim of something called render depth. I got an example set here. We got two blocks, a stone and a grass block. If I make the stone a bit transparent, you can see it's basically just a transparent block, which is normal. But on the side here, you see something called render depth. How this works? Well, if I set the render depth lower than the grass, the program is going to render stone first when there was no grass behind it yet. The grass's render depth is higher than the stone, so if I raise this up even higher, nothing happens because it's already higher. If I drop the render depth lower, you can see the grass there. The floor had the render depth of zero, so if you go lower than the render depth of zero, you're going to make the floor invisible. The grass block has the render depth of minus two, so if the stone's render depth goes below two, you can't see the grass block either. However, if I add a new block, let's just say it's gonna be a sapling, and put the sapling behind the stone and raise its render depth even lower than the grass, you can see the sapling but not the grass. Because the grass block's render depth is minus two, the stone's is minus three so it covers the grass, and the sapling's render depth is four so it's still visible through the stone. Basically what render depth does is sets which things are gonna be rendered first and which second. So we can try a nice experiment with this. I'm gonna add a cube and a plane. The surface is gonna be called hole and the cube is gonna be called hole 2. As you see we got this hole and hole 2 here. I'm gonna rotate the surface 90 degrees and place it somewhere on the grass. Now if I make the hole transparent nothing happens because I have to lower the render depth. So I can see through the ground now. The render depth is minus one, that should do. And the alpha goes down all the way to 5% and after that it's pronounced invisible. Or at least 1%. You have to have at least 1% of alpha. If you, if you put alpha down to zero, it's invisible and you can see the ground again. I'm gonna put it to 1% so we can see through the ground. And basically there's a hole in the ground right now. What can I do now? Well, I'm gonna lock hole two onto the hole. Now they share the position. I can move the hole two down and it turns invisible. Why? Because I have to raise the render depth. I mean, decrease the render depth. It's minus two now, lower than the square. So I can see the cube below the ground, but I can't see the ground itself. How's that helpful? Well, I got an idea. What if I click the cube and invert it? Well, now I can see the insides of the cube. So basically, if I move the cube up, you get a fake hole. This is a hole. I have a hole in the ground, which wasn't there before. How? What the hell? Well, basically what's happening here is the surface is making the grass invisible in this area because you can see through it because the render depth is lower than the grasses. And the hole has got, a, has got an even lower render depth so you can see it through. If I raise the render depth of the hole, then the surface is rendered first when there was no cube then. If I drop the render depth again, you can see the cube appears, because the cube was rendered first, then the surface was rendered, and after that the grass was rendered, so you can see through the grass into this fake hole we have right here. Just be careful of this glitch when you go through it, just don't do that. Where can this be helpful? Wow, I got an idea! Hello Steve, you're gonna get modified. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna make another hole, and another hole too. What I wanna do is lock the hole onto his head, he has a plate in his head now, great. And scale it down however I want. I'm gonna scale it down so it covers the eye. Just one of them, that should do it. And now increase, decrease the render depth to minus one. I'm gonna make the alpha 1%. So you can see the square. And now I'm gonna lock hole two onto hole one. As you see, it inherited the scale, so if I go to parent thing, inherit scale, you get the normal cube, which you have to resize. I don't like that, so I'm gonna keep the scale on, and, um, you know, basically just scale, scale the Z. Um, I also wanna invert the cube so I can see through it, and put this hole 2 inside hole 1. Now what I wanna do is lower the render depth, and 
you get this nice little hole in his eye, which is freaking great. I'm gonna place it here. Maybe even mix the color to something like Steve's skin. Oh shit. Let's just say that's it. I can't find it right now. Uh, if you see those glitchy parts here, that means you just have to move your hole a bit forward so they disappear. Even more forward, wait just a second. Eh. That should do it. Just don't make it stick out or else it looks funny again. And this whole one should be as close to the surface as possible so it doesn't glitch out. Now it looks pretty decent. What I want to do now is create another surface, name it white. Lock the white onto the hole as well and uh, place it in the eye. Increase the render depth even more so it's visible through both of the items and place it at the end of the eye. Now it looks like it has an intrusion and of course the white part of the eye is visible. What you want to do now is create another cube, call it eye, and then lock the eye onto the hole. Again, this stupid scaling thing, I'm gonna... There. Now it's scaled up. I'm gonna scale it down and put it inside his eye. What I want to do is lower the render depth below the surface so it's still visible. Put the cube inside and change its color to something random, just like this. Now Steve has an eye, which looks pretty ugly because I didn't take much time for it. How do you make Steve blink now? Well, basically, you scale the hole down and Steve should blink. Of course, normally there would be a blind texture here, so that means no face, no eyes, just skin, and this would work a lot better, like he's actually blinking. And if you're bothered by this, you can always just you can always just use the costume rotation and uh, do that with hole number two as well. There. Now when he blinks, he will actually blink in the center. Revealing the eyes, that again, should be just a skin texture without the eyes. Make a texture without the eyes and this should work fine. For those of you who are confused of what I did, imagine this cube is his eye. I made Steve blink and he blinked like this. Like he blinked to the very bottom. I didn't like this, so I changed the custom rotation point of the cube so this so it scales out from the center, change it to zero. Now it should scale like this, from the center, which is right. But if you take a look at the previous position of the cube, it was up here, and now when I changed the rotation point, it went down here. That's why I had to adjust the eyes again. Basically, that's it. I hope now you can solve it, and uh, you additionally learn how to make rigs. So, that's also a great plus. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, leave a comment if you want more tutorials. Stay sharp!